Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death, an episode uh, in season number 6 of those permadeath runs. We're still following Isaac, the uh, reborn mage who is or was trying to join the Thief skill. There's a bit of a change of plans. So, see, to explain uh, the background, F tweaks and B tweaks, uh, the mods that modify Requiem and add the blessings, essentially disallow you um, if you're following one of uh, the divines, so one of the nine good gods, uh, to either join the Dark Brotherhood or the Thieves Guild. There are a couple of mods that uh, disable uh, that, however, they only disable the um, say softer aspects of following a god you cannot murder you cannot steal more than x items the um, joining of the thieves guild however is pretty much hard coded into the blessings and unless i'm uh, changing the uh, the base of the game uh, via uh, editing it uh, there is no way around it so Unfortunately, we're left with not being able to do that, which changes the purpose of this run a tiny bit. So I'm not going to uh, join either of uh, these factions, but I've uh, set myself another goal. Uh, since we haven't been successful with the Civil War the last time, how about Isaac is getting slowly drawn into that and essentially starts to participate in the Civil War as well. But since we've done it uh, for the Emperor this time, I think it is more than fair to do it for the Nords. Um, and Isaac could kind of join uh, the Nords after Ulrich had been tried to um, be assassinated by Patrick the Monk. It's kind of a uh, consistent, uh, consistent world. Anyways, um, before we do that, I figured I'll show you some really nice gameplay in and around uh, some mage battles and you're likely uh, interested in that. I wanted to still continue uh, the uh, the uh, quest line of the College of Winterhold just a little bit more because I want to get uh, that better headdress uh, that would allow us to get more mana regeneration. Um, and another topic that I would want to push forward is the main storyline. So we'll do both first and then essentially finish, uh, hopefully still alive, uh, this season by uh, doing the Civil War quest. Which begs the question, we need someone else who does the Thieves and Dark Brotherhood uh, quests. So there's potentially room for a seventh uh, character. And I'll think about someone who's evil enough in finishing both of them. Anyways. Let's um, get into it and uh, kill some mages. Okay, time to battle some mages. This is going to be rough. I I will use our racial dragon skin. Right, that some nasty damage right there. But equally, we got him down in just one hit. absorption and now two flame artronax are fighting against one another that was another mage yep right down there careful Two flame astronauts. That should do the trick. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Staff of Fireballs. Holy. This is so helpful. I. I should have maybe uh, run a. A pure uh, staff build. As it stands. This is fantastic. All right, so wait a second. Oh, yeah, cool. So it's the staff of fireball. Cool. That was a bit of a teaser of what's about to come. Because boy, the mages are dangerous. And we rather uh, should bring our A game here. But it is another opportunity for us to finally upgrade our gear. Got a few resist magic potions with me as well, so overall we should be fine. Yeah, Fireball is quite strong. One of my favorite spells in the game. On top of it, we are getting more and more um, Tips, which will be helpful as well and by the way this is incredibly dark in here much better Level 45, these guys are no pushover. Careful with the trap here. So stamina, that ain't bad at all. And we got one of uh, the blood spells. In case you're wondering, these here are not just nice little friendly neighborhood uh, people. These are all vampires. So what we're going to do is earn us some extra experience. That doesn't work. She's level 48. Oh. She 
takes almost no damage. The conjurer, my bad. Only range spells, and I don't think we even have. Oh, wait, yeah, we of course we do. How could I forget about that? Okay, let me work uh, my magic here a bit and we're going to kill all three. It took way longer than I wanted, but finally we managed to kill all of them. Now, let's prepare for the actual battles ahead. There are a few wizards that will challenge us and uh, oh, no, 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 we don't want to fight inside. against the flame astronaut. Here's a new one. Rinse and repeat. They are banishing them now. That's a nasty combination. Vanish again. Fortunately, can't charge in, although I want to finish her. Charga is just looking at it and is like, yeah, no, I'm not having any of this. Stuff has been quite good so far. Very efficient uh, with the usage of charges. Come on, break, uh, break the shield. Now he has a bear to care uh, care about. Yep, there we go. If you want to uh, get done, use a bear.
Cool, so a few black mage ropes, nothing super fancy or to write home about. But here we do have elixirs of blood, and that, on the other hand, is something to very much write home about. Because it fits our plan and what I want this character to become in the future fantastically. So they were experimenting on vampires and apparently on Khajiits as well. Soul extraction. Okay, not too bad. Nice hit on the storm wizard, unfortunately. He got away. I wouldn't go in there if I was you, but uh, yet again, we need to follow our companion. Bit of a stupid idea. shield our oh, spirit bear is keeping that side that's unfortunate where we need to go through They can take a hit and they block very nicely. Can you please move in, bear? Seriously.
sure. Is he protected against fire? Apparently enough to not take any damage. Throwing the fireball down his way. Just drained him empty. Very nice. Boots of stamina. That might be helpful. Can't have a hundred staffs here. Sparks is not good enough. Yeah, our magic regeneration is better. She has another staff of fireballs. Love it. But that also means we gotta change it up. Minor rope of destruction, cool. Magica, not bad either. Oh, another vampire. Well. I'll get to her in a second. Okay, before we go on, let me finish the vampire and rebuff. Good, we killed the vampire. Now it is time for the rest of the dungeon. This part here is a bit more tricky. Skeletons down. And thanks to Sunfire, the third one goes down immediately as well. Cool. So, necromancers. We do have necromancer ropes. So that's not entirely surprising. Staff of Ice Spheres is good. I like that. Ropes of Destruction. Gotta make up my mind which staffs we are going to take with us. Because now we got Fireball, Ice Sphere, and Lightning Sparks. All of which are good. And Jerry Gulson is potentially the most uh, Soul Stone efficient one. Single target damage as well. Can't take all of uh, them. But... I can do the following. Khajiit guards your back. I will shoulder some of your burden. All right, Khajiit. How about we're giving you Staff of Ice Spheres? Good. Khajiit will As and when you see it fit, use it.
Okay, gotta optimize our weight here a little bit. That in itself is helpful. More maximum hit points means we can't be bursted down as easily. And the rest is okay. Before we go in, racial ability up, yes, magic resistance up, yes, Chargo seems a bit um, stunned, dazed, or shocked, or whatever. Welcome back, buddy. I think healing ray might be just what you need. There we go. And here we go again. Storm Atronax? Uh oh, not cool. Alright. See you later. Of them, holy. I definitely will need shock resistance. And some place to trap these guys. They are bulky. Maybe I can trap them somewhere. Why are we having yet another enemy here? 
Telling me there are more mages up here. Completely forgot about him. Okay, we trapped uh, the storm astronaut there. The explosions of the fire atronach should deal quite a bit of damage to him. It adds up. Okay, Ooh, that was a tough one. Archmage are what? I should help me get out of here, and I'll help you find them. Please, don't okay. leave me here. There we thank go. You, thank you. I promise I'll help. Yes, the caller will, although not interested enough to. I promise I'll help you get out of here. Okay, then uh -huh. let's go. We can use all the help we can get. Two storm atronox. Doesn't get much more difficult on uh, this level than that. really explored this part here yet so uh, just want to make sure that we're not missing out on any of the loot it's definitely still an enemy Correct that. There are a couple of enemies. She's out of mana. This guy on the other hand isn't. So we're both sitting here regenerating.
Okay. We can definitely get her down. Careful with that fire shield, it hurts a lot. Okay, whew. We have plenty of low low level ropes, but I'm still hoping kind of for an expert rope. Very nice. Can't really get anything there. Cool. So we killed quite a few extra mages. Minor conjuration doesn't help us a lot. Blur, we already got that. Uh, so as a tome, that won't be super helpful. getting rid of a couple of ingredients we could always get them later if we want if we want to there is one more room if i recall correctly and that was another difficult one We got one enchantment out of all of that because we already knew all of the others. Yeah, I really don't need anything here. I vaguely remember that one. Oh yeah, I remember this. Insights. Soul gems, yes, please. There is the key. New staff of fireballs, exactly what we needed. Which means the old one that we complete halfway completely used. Well, it is what it is. Could have used more but you uh, would have never guessed that you find another staff of fireballs
Uh, wait, what? Uh, we do have knock two now, which means adept is no longer out of out of grab. Tell you what, I'll search through the remains uh, after we finished it. The books are still up there. We got a good fire resist. Might as well use that. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. This is going How to be a tough nice one. To meet you. Who are you? Names no longer matter. No. Do you have a? So I'm here for the of books of the lackeys. college. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here. Kill my assistants. Disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Well, please save the book. Oh, now we're all please and thank you, are we? I'm afraid we're well beyond pleasantries. I'll allow you the opportunity to turn around. How dare close but we still have the Atronox don't we no we don't we actually don't fantastic the last time I fought her the Atronox uh, very much continued to exist Surfaces might have looked like an easy fight, but believe me, it is not. It's actually a quite difficult one. Cool. Iron boots of strength. Tell you what, that uh, mm, is a good disenchantment. Yeah, I'll I'll need to figure out how to get everything home. Uh, mm, let me sell a few things. I don't want to see you treating any of these books. Good, we're back. And Cleared. we have sold quite a bit, and here are the books well, that are missing. Well, and you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here, I suppose you've earned these. Well, mm. he certainly gave us quite a few books. All of which appear to be skill books, so thank you. It's actually quite kind of you. Cool. Very good. Besides, I don't want them to drag our weight down. We know where to find uh, find them if need be. 
and it's time to progress that storyline just a tiny bit further. Good to did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Found a certain book, Knight of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and mare fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Glamour, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magic, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully he'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I'm Now I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter of... Well, quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time. When we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psijic Order here in the... More importantly, so we're going to go have a little chat with you. All you... They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Alright. So, I'll do the talking, and we'll progress the questline. So there is a slight change of plans, mainly because the next stage in the College of Winterhold quest requires you to go into the cellar of the College of Winterhold where an uh, invisible Daedra is protecting the next milestone which means no 200% uh, spell headband for us instead we're progressing the main quest line a little bit further wow that was a difficult tree to maneuver. We're uh, doing the main quest line, specifically the horn uh, of Jurgen Wind uh, caller. Grav. <laughs> Um, another interesting dungeon. Alright. Stop being so annoying, Bandit. Finally, our cavalry arrives. I see. They were using anime dead. Didn't help them. I'll use uh, the magic resist potion though, because there are a few mages within Ustengrav. Hotkeyed almost everything, with the exception of our axe. There we go. So the mages typically fight against the undead, 
And there is a good chance that the undead might even win. So I will just let that happen. Apparently they did not fight against uh, the undead. Where is that bandit coming from? Are you telling me you resurrected him? need more support on the battlefield otherwise we're sitting dark here out of Magicka. <laughs> Staff of Flame, Atronach. Are you, are you sure? That's a pretty damn good staff. Cool, well that staff, whenever I think, you know, we've already got all of the good staffs, uh, the game hands us yet another one that is even better. So far, so good. Freeze Frost Resist isn't bad at all. Uh, these are actually quite good uh, boots. Uh, what I was about to do, I... Oh yeah, I wanted to learn that spell. They fought the Draugrs, but were not capable of overpowering them. 
Probably just had too too many hit points. I'm sure that is the exit, if my memory serves me well. A couple of skill books. Tell you what, this is uh, since I installed the uh, light overhaul when I got my new PC everything looks a little bit darker okay that's the way forward So, let's move on. Hold on. Good, sorry for the Discord noise. I always hate it when uh, that happens. Okay, cool. So far, that was easier than expected. We're definitely going to... ...raise some of them. There we go. There are runes on the floor, as in... Magical runes. Don't want to step into them. <laughs> Tell you what. Um, how about she guards your back? I will show you take a couple of items, my friend. A few of uh, these will help you. And whilst we're at it, might as well will increase follow. our health further. Good, time to get whirlwind sprint. We will need it a bit later. That's a nasty shouter. Correction, that was a nasty shouter.
tell you what. Um, let's hotkey this. We're using raised dead so often. Might as well hotkey it. I think we killed all of uh, them, or nearly all of them. There was a chest over here, wasn't there? Yep. My loyal undead companions are right behind me. Not like my real companion who is nowhere to be seen. Oh, there we go. He just shows up to work a little bit late. Okay, I see how it is. Let's try this here. Yep, works like a charm. Resource management in terms of stamina from time to time, then mana and just cycling through that has become much, much better. Cool. So, if anyone sneaks up, what I would I will show like you to do. Burden. Let's take a couple more potions. Gajit will follow. I'll let um, these two deal with the skeletons. Apparently, the progress in the way. All of the skeletons should be down.
Well, almost. One more shout. Ethereal, what a nice shout. dungeon plays out really well so far I've gotten quite a few uh, insights out of this had time to rebuff everything looks good We're not at the end yet, uh, there is still a bit to go. Like you should run, not just walk. Shout wasn't fully ready. Let's try again. This is the part with the spiders. Yeah, you won't, don't want to touch the floor. Are you getting up? 
Yes, no, maybe. That last spider. Fantastic. Our companion will join us once we're through all of this. this for nothing I know in one of the later F tweaks oh no we even got some ropes here well those were hand placed from F tweaks I know that in the later uh, ones you get even more loot but wait a second that's the latest version of F tweaks maybe they took it out I remember reading something along the lines of getting more loot so, through more often, through more often, and through more often, can't expand uh, the mana regeneration. I'll think about it. We don't need shouts as much at this point. The eth ethereal one is good, really good. But for now I'm happy that we uh, made it through without any major incidents. Which kind of brings us to the end of today's episode I suppose. Because there isn't really much more to see in here. And that would be leveling up. So let's just increase the skills. Here we go. Next up, we wanted to go with uh, Destruction. Almost 50, that's good. And we wanted to put all of uh, the greater points into Alteration. Firmly on our way to 75. Not quite there yet, but surprisingly close. More magicka and a bit more health. Okay, three perks. So, definitely wanted that. 75 will be definitely the metamagic thesis for 10% uh, lower cost. And I'm wondering if we should uh, go the route uh, for conjuration now. 
it has worked very well and so far the staffs are okay in terms of damage dealing don't need destruction as much yet so the build uh, so far is actually working out reasonably well I think stabilized binding might be good for longer duration and extended binding for casting them further away both of which would be helpful not needed but helpful and summon thralls are immune to banish and control that is definitely what we want later uh, if we're fighting against um, against dragon priests for instance so the necromancy option would be undeads ghosts spectral creatures and ritualism and then ultimately uh, ultimately uh, running around with a corpse that you can always reanimate i think we're just going with classical conjuration here doesn't for me it does not necessarily feel like uh, we would be a major necromancer I didn't get the vibe uh, that Isaac would uh, go down that route, but I'm most certainly getting the vibe that we need extended binding and 75 uh, next to get stronger thralls and thralls in general. Uh, so that would be helpful. So we're missing one uh, talent there and ascent, uh, one perk there and essentially another perk here. Uh, for the thralls 75 would be a huge power spike for conjuration as well uh, we're going to get a lot of perks for destruction soon so that won't be a problem uh, we're still okay with the restoration it's actually not that bad uh, mm, healing too is okay uh, of course we uh, we could go deeper into it and if we do have the uh, the perks we will um, but for now, it feels like Alteration and Contration is doing a reasonable good job in keeping us alive. And the next perk definitely would be this year, 10% cost on all spells, which would be fantastic. And likely this year for Mage Armor 4. Metamagical Empowerment uh, requires 100. That requires 100. Spell Armor, however, only 75. So we could get that. And also another 5% magic resistance. So mm, I guess that would be one, two, three, four perks, all of which are quite valuable. Just looking at our magic resistance, right? Uh, we're already at 60-ish. Uh, That's 15 away from maxing it out five more from uh, from our mage armor and we still have two more levels for uh, for just minor stats f tweaks gives you the 21st first levels a lot of uh, stat points uh, including magic resistance so that might be something which means we should be more or less uh, hitting that uh, that mark of 75 and if I'm just looking at, uh, say, oh no, we already have dwindling magic on. Mm. Yeah, maybe I need to think about how we're increasing that fur uh, further via um, perks here. I know that restoration also has some, so we can we could take a look at it. Um, that frees up item slots and item slots on the other hand are okay or good for us because uh, we then uh, can use the items uh, to actually get spell cost reduction etc etc cool for now we're good um, if uh, you want to conjure a really successful channel uh, try summoning something on the like button and see you in the next episode bye bye guys